Hello, my name is Bettina Kumarumi. I am currently doing my first year HND Business and Management. I am originally from Romania. I have moved here four years ago and been at college for the last three years. Before doing the HND, I was studying Level 3 Travel and Tourism and did my extended diploma. I feel like doing a HND in business while having the diploma at Travel and Tourism gives me more opportunities in the future. But my main hope is that life will go back to normal very soon, as a lot of us are very uncertain about the future. Before coming to college, I have heard a lot of good reviews from my high school friends and I have not regretted my decision ever since. So I came to Chichester College at 16 and did my Level 3 Diploma and the first qualification for the DDI. Um, so this for me is like a top up and a continuation um, and I loved my training here. For, I came for three years at 16 so it just made sense for me to come back and finish off my teacher training. The reason I didn't go to uni and chose to study at the college was that um, I wasn't ready to go to uni. The unis for horticulture are quite far away, um, meaning I have to move away and I really wasn't ready for that. Um, so this, the course came up, so I chose to do it. Um, it made it a smoother transaction, um, didn't, didn't really do well at school, so I knew I was going to struggle being in a classroom, so knowing Brinsbury, uh, I really enjoyed the environment already, so I chose to stay here. The reason I would recommend it um, above a university, um, there's, there's multiple reasons really. It's cheaper to start with, so you do save, you save money, um, which is never a bad thing. Um, the, the college environment at Chichester is really immense. It's a big building, you see thousands of students every day. Um, it can feel, especially when you first go in, you sort of you think it's quite overwhelming. But then you realise within Chichester there's so many small departments. So for example, the hospitality department um, is a home. It, it has its own group, it has its own um, niche collection of people and you're, you get to know your lecturers, you get to know the people you study with, um, and it just becomes like a family. And so you feel like you've got your own little family unit within this immense building. I chose to study at Chichester College due to the low student to lecturer ratio. So that, that means that you have a lot more class time and personal lecturing time with your teacher so that you can have any questions that you might have answered um, quickly and effectively. My favourite thing about the course is that despite only being a few of us, we have managed to make really good friendships and we help each other when one of us struggles. This also goes for the teachers as well. They are very helpful and supportive, especially at this time. When I have applied, it was really easy for me as I had help from my teachers from the other course. Then I had a call from Patricia who told me all that I needed to know. As I live in Chichester, I have wanted to study near my home, therefore it was more likely for me to continue my studies at college, where I have been for the past three years, where I feel familiar with everything. I believe that for a cheaper price compared to a university, it offers the same opportunities if not more. My biggest fear was that I will not be able to cope with the amount of work and the pressure, but I have realised that if I push myself, I am able to achieve my target. I would highly recommend people to come and do the HND courses offered by the college as they will not only receive support from our amazing teachers but they will make life lasting friendships as well. I would also say my lecturers um, Leanne and Andy they became such important figures throughout my whole journey and they still remain important to this day. I still feel the need to update them um, and keep them keep them updated on what's going on in my life and how things are going. The gratitude I have towards them is endless. Um, they stopped me from quitting multiple times. Um, I believe once, once I actually went to my teacher Leanne and I said to her, I cannot do this course, I have to, I have to quit. My life has just become too crazy with work and other commitments. And she just said, leave it with me. And she came back in the evening when I was in the middle of service with a stack of papers and said, these are all the ways I'm going to help you. These are all the financial help you're going to access. 
these are all the professionals that you can speak to and this is all the support the college can give you. I want you to go home, read through all of this, see what ones you feel comfortable applying to, come and talk to me and then let me know if you really feel like um, leaving. And she said, but I just really, I don't want to let you go. Um, and it just made me feel, obviously one, like someone really cared about me, um, but two, it made me feel like I had a place there. Um, I had a place there and I needed to sort of fight for it, which I did. Um, so it's thanks to her that I've been able to sort of get to where I am today, if, if, if I could say it like that. So yeah, um, my teachers were just definitely a huge highlight um, and the gratitude to them both is, is endless. My um, sort of worries for the course um, were not being able to complete work um, to the standard that needs to be completed for uni level, um, degree level, um, but the staff were really helpful with that. Um, student tutors were amazing to sort of help me and overcome that fear and proofreading your work really does go a long way and listening to feedback, which I learned sadly halfway through the course at my own fault. But um, yeah, really, really, really helpful staff and sort of that in between from college, but still treating you like an adult um, for that degree level. I think for coming out of school, if, if dance or performing is what you want to do, it's the best bridge between that lower education and to train you ready to go off into professional training. And I think it prepared me for my professional training 100%. When starting studying, the most important thing is to be yourself and be confident in your own abilities because one of the worst things that you can do, in my opinion, is to doubt yourself because that leads to a lot more negative behaviour and negative outlooks on your work. So if you try to be yourself and be confident and be uh, happy with your abilities, you should be able to excel. Advice I would give to someone starting off their, their sort of academic journey um, would be to give it your best shot. Um, don't be scared of the environment. Don't be scared of the people you're going to meet. You know, everything happens for a reason. Um, and I just think, you know, most of the higher education courses at the college um, are around one to two years. That time is going to pass either way. But in one to two years, you could be doing something you love. Um, so just give yourself the opportunity to be able to achieve that um, and I'm sure you're more than capable of doing it um, and if, if all of that goes great for you then you can one day graduate at the cathedral and I promise you it will be one of the best days of your life and um, it's still very very much one of the best days of mine. Um, so yeah, uh, if you do choose the college, then I wish you all the best of luck.